Well, the Adelaide Fringe Festival is just under six months away and organisers are already busy building a bigger and better program. Channel 9 will help bring the festival to life, becoming its new major broadcast sponsor. Thousands of artists from across the world converge on Adelaide to appear at the Fringe, but next year the audience and performers will stand side by side. The public can learn a dance piece and actually get involved in a big outdoor dance. Spectacular. In a first for the Fringe and as part of a new media partnership, parts of the festival will be shown on Channel 9's Gem in front of a live studio audience. The Fringe has just grown bigger and bigger and bigger and I think now with Channel 9 on board it's going to grow even more. And next year the streets will be bursting with even more action. Our aim is to close that whole corner of Rundle Street and East Terrace on a Friday and Saturday night. Last year pop-up venues proved popular and organisers are hoping for even more exciting spaces to explore. Hopefully in Victoria Square, that's still kind of being looked at at the moment. Uh, the tunnels under the Treasury are hopefully going to be used as a venue and hopefully uh, some of the old studios at Channel 9 in Tint Street. The 2013 Fringe was the most successful event yet, selling more than 400,000 tickets and generating $65 million for the local economy. We ran it for four weeks and it was incredible. We sold more tickets than ever before. Uh, I just think people are really up for it here in Adelaide. The 2014 Fringe will kick off on February 14. Jack Paquetta, 9 News.